today is some thatching. We're going to thatch that little miniature roof that uh, I put together a little while ago. And so I've got my thatch and this is uh, a nice wheat called Maris Widgeon and a nice long straw. And normally that's sown in October and then harvested in July. And so you get this nice long length on it. Um, so you can see that the bats are roughly about uh, an armful and you'll probably pay anything from about seven to 12, 14 pounds for that. Um, and what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna just water the top. You can flick it over if you're good with a bucket, but I'm just gonna use a watering can with a rose and I'm just doing that. And the reason for that is the water will run down the bat and just soften it up a little bit for when I do the thatching. Okay, so that's the sort of first stage. And then we'll go and have a look at the roof and I'll decide how long I'm gonna cut this up. I think I'm gonna cut it down the middle and those are gonna be the lengths of my thatch and I'm gonna use small handfuls in order to thatch the roof. So what I've done is I've kind of sorted out some bundles and we can knock them. And what you do is actually knock it at a slight angle so that when you put it on the roof, it's already at a, at a reasonable angle to start off with. So uh, when we pick one up, we're just gonna do that, just slight angle, and then we'll put it on. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is to, we're gonna stitch on the first course, okay? And what thatches do is they'll use what's called a tar string. I'm just gonna use jute string, actually, but tar string will probably last a bit longer. So what we're going, what happens is we're just going to tie it onto one of the common rafters. So I'm just going to pop the scissors down a second, get that round, tie it. Okay, and just knot it. If you want to go around twice, you can. I'm just going to give myself a, a length of string, just enough to do this first row of thatch. And the technique we're using is stitching. On the first one, and then we'll use the sways and different methods as we go up, okay. So I've got my thatch, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tap like that. And then I'm gonna put it into position. And you can see I've put a nail at the top. So the nail is the one that we're gonna point, everything's gonna be pointed to that nail. And we offer it into position your thatch into position and then take your string over the top with that pointed towards the top so something like that and then what I'm going to do is to go around a batten okay like I've got to get it nice and tight and we'll go around a couple of times to stitch the thatch on okay and then if you want to you can just sort of just while you're going to get another piece just wrap it round there just to hold it and hope that that doesn't come undone. Get the next piece, the technique to get it a little bit tighter. So I'm going to put the, I've got a little nail here to act as a needle and we're just going to put the thatch there, point it towards the ceiling and then I'm going to go over the top of it, up through round the rafter like that. So we're still stitching it on, like that. and we'll get that in nice and tight. So about the bottom third is what you're aiming for with your string. So we're going to go around, just going to go around that again to get a second one. So we've got our second. So that's on fairly tight, but then because these battens are big, I'm actually going to go pop that through the top there and take it down and out through the bottom okay get that so you've got your double it's got over this that's got a double double attachment there and I'm taking it to the bottom so it's ready to go over the bottom of the next one which is probably doubling up what we need to do but it's got it on tight and we're now in the bottom third I just need to probably to just tighten this up so anything that isn't tight just give it a bit of a tighten up on. So there now that's ready now and that's nice and tight. It's in the bottom third so that now will be just right for my next 
layer of thatch. So I'll pop my needle back on. Over the top, and up through there, and over the top of the thatch. There we go. It's stitched on, push it up tight, wrap it, pull tight all that to get that nice and tight. We've got the first layer on. We ended up doing a double stitch just to make sure that was nice and nice and strong and firm. I'm just going round with the leg it now and I'm just really beginning to drive it up and just spread this out and a little bit around the bottom there. So just get that all so we're all at the same height so pushing up quite hard, driving it the straw up quite hard and then what I'll do is once I've got to spread out a little bit more is you will find there's lots of bits like that which you can kind of take off but I'm not going to worry too much about that because we're going to put another layer over the top trim off these bits as well that are sticking off and that would just with a pair of shears or something just to make that look better but at least we've got the first layer on and the next layer we're gonna use sways and what I've got for that is for this size, four mil would have been fine, but I've got some six millimeter. We're using about the one third rule is the ideal. So one third from the base is where you want your string. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some sways that will sort of be about, sit about this. That's about the, the length of the sway from there to there. And that's gonna catch the bottom third, which is gonna hide all the lines of where we stitched it on and then hopefully it will come down to about there and then that layer where we spread it out will run into it and take it up to about here okay and then of course we've got the the top layer to think about so the next thing is to cut the sways and they're going to be that length there so we've cut a sway which is going to sit about here and that's going to be clamping down the next layer of wheat straw and in order to clamp it, what we've got to do is to make some little tails wrapped around a little screw, actually. So I'm going to try and do that as tight as I can. So that's that one. And then this one, I'm just going to move that up to the top. Something like that should hopefully be enough. And then bend it out a little bit. So you end up with something like that. So there's your, your tail. And now what I'm going to do is to get my drill and I'm going to screw it into a rafter and they're going to go either side of the sway. Okay. A nail to push through the straw to find where we've got something to screw in this. So then I'm just going to push that there just sort of towards the rafter. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to screw that in that's fairly tight there and then I've got my two tails sticking out and then I'm going to do the same thing with my other one so there's a good place to put that in I've just found it with the nail I'm going to just push that in there and hopefully screw that down tight That's those two there. And then my sway. I'm just going to pop my sway in there. And all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of a crossover in my. Just to cross it over a little bit, just to hold the sway from falling. And I can lift that up and down and put my next lot of straw in. So that's the idea of that one. I might need to nip my sway down a bit, but that's, that's going to give me a, a nice way of holding it down. So now I'm going to get some straw and we'll have a look, see if, if that will go in okay. You can pull the sway back, pop the straw underneath, take it down. It's going to be about a third of the height again, about there. Just spread it out a little bit. 
And then what I'm going to do is use the nail there just to hold that in place a little bit. And then I can just just tie it round a little bit, just so it's a little bit tighter. Not obviously super tight at the moment, but just enough to hold that in place really. And if I want to, I can just cross them over temporarily just to hold the straw in. It's going to get tightened up a lot, but basically you're clamping that down really tight. Okay, so, and this has obviously got to cover the straw, and these have got to spread out enough so it looks like it's got a nice shape to it. So I'm going to get some more straw and we'll pop that underneath. That, pop that in. Try and get this round a little bit. Something like that. It's a little bit higher than a third, so I might need to kind of lower that down a little bit. And it wants to be pointing towards the top. Okay, something like that ideally. Again, I'll just do that just to hold it. And if I want to, I can just put my pin in my nail just to hold it. Let's try and tighten it up. I've only got a pair of pliers. You can use uh, with potato bags. They used to have these little things which clamped it up really well. Uh, but I haven't got anything like that. Or I'll tell you what would work would be a car jack if you've got one of the old fashioned car jacks. And if you had that you could really tighten it up, just hook it under the old scissor jack and that would really get it tight. So what I'm doing is just trying to clamp this down a bit. I quite got to the bit I want yet. Yeah, here we go, that's better. Try and cross that over a bit. That's it, get in there. Okay, so we're gonna clamp it around. So the best thing to do is that first crossover, if you can get that good. And you've got a good chance, so I think this one goes the other way. So we can really tighten it down and try and see if I can clamp it up. It's pretty tight now, so now I can really begin to work on this, get this. And if it's a little bit variable here, it's a bit missing, we can pull a bit back down. If we feel that there isn't quite enough in there, or we can push a bit of this up, and then really try and get a bit of a, a bit of an angle on that. A little bit missing in there. Again, we can just pull it down a little bit, pull it backwards, get some in to fill the gap, and then we can do that to give a bit of a thatch sort of finish. And also we can drive stuff up from the base to fill the gap as well. So that now make sure that it's all pointing towards the top. So we're keeping that nice and tight in that way as well. So there we go, that's that. That's that one and a bit of trimming, a little bit of trimming around the edge here and hopefully that'll start to take shape of it. Okay. So what we're doing is just feeding in a little bit more material just so that it comes down and hides the sway underneath and then we can get the leg it, just knock it up into location a little bit and get that just, just so it's just hiding it. There we go, so that hides that. And if we've got some gaps we can pull a little bit down if we want to or push bit up underneath into that just to, to get them to spread out a little bit better. It's a little bit ragged here so I'm going to try and tidy it up a little bit with the leg in. But that's sort of beginning to get the shape. Need a little bit in there, see that little hollow. So I'll get a little bit of material and we'll see if we can just feed a little bit of that down in. Just see if that will work and just that up through there. See if we can do that, just bend them over a little bit and try and feed a little bit more up into here if we can, if we let us. They're not let us very easily. That one's a pin in there actually. Just a pin out of the way. So I'm just trying to get a little bit more so that hasn't been tidy down there. Push a bit back down and just spread that out a little bit. Now hopefully if 
we can get the leg it and just tie it up a little bit so the gap's filled needs a little bit more into that area and there we go now we've just got a bit of trimming to do to make that a bit nicer I've just got to put one more layer on and obviously to hide the metal what we do is to put uh, a ring of hazel around here hide this so you'll have another layer of thatch just around here pull it together like we've done here uh, a little bit of a whipping kind of knot at the top uh, and then um, we could either cut it off flat and then put a little bit of weatherproof, waterproofing over the top or just tie it up with a bit of old rope and then that will complete this, this little um, bit of a project. Uh, we could actually use the garden shears to shear it just a little bit to get rid of a few of these bits and bobs or spend a bit of time cleaning it up so it could look a little bit better but it's mainly a rustic kind of structure. Okay. So the next bit of the operation is to put on a hazel. This is a hazel sway, uh, which go, is going to go around. And so what I've been doing is manipulating the hazel, sort of bending it round, and just work it with my thumb to form that circle. Uh, and then also we've got uh, what we call spars. And with the spar, we've got a bit of hazel, and you have to twist it. Uh, you mustn't bend it, you actually twist it like that, so then that's going to go around your sway and hopefully hold the sway on and the thatch on. So uh, that's the idea, so it's going to be a, a kind of, I'm going to knock that into there just to start off with to try and hold it a bit. And I'll just knock it in with my hand to start off with just to sort of get it roughly in position and then I'll put another one just round, I'll work it round and put a couple more in and work it round. Okay, so my sway will be temporarily held in position. Now I'll put the thatch in and then I'll drive home the spars to hold the sway. Okay, and then hopefully with the thatch it should then cover this metal uh, sway and then another tier and then we'll just do something with the top to finish it later. Okay, so there's our little thatched bird hive, uh, or bird hut, or whatever we like to call it, and uh, we had to make the uh, spars just a little bit longer so they went in a bit more, so they gripped the sway a little bit better, and then one little decorative there. We could put crisscrosses and all sorts of things, but at the top we'll probably get a little bit of rope or maybe some uh, willow or something, a, a climber, and just wind that round and make that really tight. Could even twist it a little bit on itself if need be. Some people create a little pheasant or something at the top when they do this. Um, so that's a, a basic guide to uh, a little bit of thatching, a miniature hut. <laughs>